It's Hyper Halloween. So what do you get when you mix one of those cheesy ghost hunter shows with found footage horror films? Well, you might get Grave Encounters. Grave Encounters is a 2011 Canadian found forage horror film that centers around the ghost hunting group called Grave Encounters. Well, Grave Encounters is actually a show within the movie, but the group are mostly ghost hunters and I'm going to call them the Grave Encounters ghost hunters from here on out. Let's dive into the plot a bit. The movie opens with the producer of the ghost hunting reality show called Grave Encounters explaining how the crew went missing after filming their sixth episode. The footage is shown to us, the audience, in a quote unquote unedited fashion. Of course, I'm using air quotes because it is edited a bit. The Grave Encounters group visits a psych hospital in Maryland. It's got a notorious history where a doctor performed unnecessary lobotomies on his patients. The reason? Apparently patients thought demons lived there. Do I sense foreshadowing? Well, we'll soon find out. But to end the doctor portion of this story, the patients end up killing the doctor. The Grave Encounters group walks around the hospital grounds and gains insight on supposed hauntings and ghostly hotspots. Further foreshadowing events to come. It's also made clear at this point that the Grave Encounters crew is not in this to uncover the truth on the paranormal activity on the locations they visit as they're shown paying a local gardener to make up a story about seeing a ghost. The group also has a hokey spirit medium to further quote unquote elaborate on events they heard. Of course, by elaborate, I mean exaggerate. While I'm painting the Grave Encounters crew as underhanded and dishonest, they are a likable group. Sure, they're lying about what's going on in the hospital, but they want to provide good content for people to enjoy. Plus, they're fun to watch and their interactions are entertaining, to me at least. The Grave Encounters group has the caretaker lock them inside of the psych ward for the night. The caretaker said he would return in the morning. The paranormal activity ramps up slowly with slamming doors, footsteps, and having their hair messed with, to seeing full-blown ghosts. From here, the movie plays out like you would expect. More aggressive hauntings, death that align with the areas mentioned in the beginning of the film, and a lot of running away from ghosts. The kills are very telegraphed in the movie, and aren't really anything special in that people mostly just disappear, never to be seen again. Where this movie does shine is in the ghost effects. The ghosts look like normal people, albeit with some black rings or marks around their eyes, but when they go in for the scare, their face distorts. It's a simple effect and sometimes looks goofy, but it's creepy when accompanied by shrieking. Also, their eyes spread wide and their mouths turn black as their face stretches. Again, simple and somewhat goofy, but it works. A fun aspect about this movie, the psych hospital itself is paranormal. This is hinted at at the beginning of the film, when one of the interviewees mentions that the patient said that the hospital was haunted. The hospital seems to have the ability to control time and space as it manipulates doors, windows, and the layout itself. It also has the ability to speed up time and keep time at a standstill. And this is shown throughout the film. The crew's food is seen rotting, and the crew said that they walked around the hospital for days and sunlight never comes. The hospital is actually explored further in Grave Encounters 2. Back to the doctor for a moment. The doctor I mentioned still haunts the hospital as well. He continues his experiments on people that unwittingly enter the hospital. This is shown when one of the Grave Encounters crew goes missing and then shows back up spouting that the doctor can help them too. Grave Encounters is able to keep the tension and scares throughout the film. It has a simple premise, but great execution. As I mentioned earlier, Grave Encounters was followed up by Grave Encounters 2. I'm not going to talk too much about Grave Encounters 2, but like I mentioned, it does continue the story, and we get to see where things pick up after Grave Encounters 1. All that said, if what I mentioned sounds interesting, then give Grave Encounters a watch. You won't be disappointed.